What a putrid offering. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. I used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I should get rid of all this stuff. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. I wonder why I still take these things. Blackmail in a speakeasy. I have business here to attend to. I have business here.
I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. this symbol on the man's chest. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? The meaning could be exact. 
exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could... That is what you must find out. Go to Doc. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct and the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right, I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer, but it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there.
almost there. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah. A sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Hey, Sullivan, can't you go any faster? The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh yeah? He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You That's can't no understand. Way to You're treat not an sailors. Omen. Oh, yeah. it's a... What could have done so much damage? You can't That's understand. No You're not sailors. Oh, yeah. It's a sign. He's There's something coming. Trouble. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat.
broken. This place seems half abandoned. The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. Brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the yeah, table next. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins, but that's all I'll get from them. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights at the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners. And the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it.
Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. Ha, <laughs> indeed you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Let's get him another drink. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Pure instinct. I behaved like a Hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Drinking 
I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it. The truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I've got what I need. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then... Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. I think we'll get along well. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her pain. Then, I've got what I need. Anything else? That'll be all for now. And then he said, the miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. To treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. You said it. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island.
I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof! Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I heard the Hawkins family owned a warehouse on the docks. An old family of ship owners. <laughs> Tell me something I don't already know. They were made much richer by the miraculous catch. You shouldn't talk about the dead like that. We're not speaking ill, we're just saying that Daniel Hawkins made a fortune without taking any risk. There! You're speaking ill, you see! It's your proof that the miraculous catch really did happen. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. I had to wing all the jolly boys. What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble. Can't you see that we're in the middle of a conversation? I told you to beat it. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. Shysters, you're crazy! They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Hmm. I broke it. St. Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in.
know if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hit them somewhere in your hut. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Why, we don't have a clear... What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? I've so, just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Gentlemen, you have a problem. What? Who do you take yourself for, stranger? Your boss is very unhappy with your work. Oh yeah? You're bluffing. She said those knuckleheads are incapable of staying at their post. Darn it! You think he's telling the truth? We'll find out. Prove that you really know, Cat. It's risky to question my word. I wouldn't like you to get cut with a certain Italian knife. Okay, okay. You've convinced us. And it's she who sent you? What do you want from us? I thought I made it clear. I have to take a look inside the Hawkins warehouse. Leave me alone, and I'll put in a good word for you with Cap. Um, okay, it's a deal. Let's see. Perfect. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? What happened here? Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Le Petit Parisien. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings?
What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is, has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, 
he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee. If you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there?
I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Recently fallen. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined.
Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the- Poor kid. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see some- The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. I'll have to find another entrance. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe, and let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence, no more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked, and I make sure it stays that way. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Uh, right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion.
What now? Pierce, shall we enter? Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? This roast? What strange creature has flesh like this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. The boy was probably here, smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins played. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Silas managed to bring the fire under control, but it was already too late for the Hawkins. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? They had a fight. Why did it stop at the time of the fire? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker?
Did someone escape the fire? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, Detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? The 
lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Crowbar could prove useful. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century.
Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Huh. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Locked. The boys' room. child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an eleven-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Locked. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? 
What was she trying to achieve? This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Sarah Hawkins. Anna. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? It's more than just a tunnel. Three seats. Look. Someone's been here recently. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? What is this mask supposed to represent? Did Charles Hawkins hide something in this chest? This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? This symbol... What does it mean? Of course. And something tells me that the key is climbing these steps. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below.
Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. These paintings must be several centuries old. These paintings must be several centuries old. Time has weakened these structures. I don't have time to search them all. What's going on here? Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Grave. <laughs> oh, God. I got, I got it. I can't breathe. What's happening? No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. My turn. Yes, it is time. You will soon be one of us. 
If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. Pre-classical Latin? Let's see what it says. What is this awakening they talk about? And this sacred flesh? Cthulhu Nithsiha Fitag. Grant him your flesh and accept his, so that his body and yours may be one. Yibithnik Tapadk Cthulhu Bithankor. Grant him your mind and accept his, so that his mind and yours may be one. Ye loig padk kutulu loig na. Grant him your dreams and accept his, so that the paths of your souls finally intertwine. Your el kutulu kashag. I. I feel him. You are gifted indeed, not another word. Let him pass through every part of you. All you who sleep, we pray for your return into the kingdom of the earth. Bring me more sacred flesh. Dead. This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two hard looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. What in the world is this? An intruder! Oh shit! 
Don't move! Police! Don't move! I won't hesitate! Bradley, get to back! Shoot. Get back! You asked for it! In. I need to get out of here. Light! At last! I need help! having a seizure. Who will survive? A strong exception. There. He's opening his eyes. He saved him, Paula. I... I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> What did you do to me? Undo these straps! Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was... He was dead. Me too! We, we were dead! 
What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! No choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. Stop and rise us up. You there. Wake up. Come on, stand up. We don't have much time. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me. So full of drugs, I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. I saw the nurses at work on a patient. It wouldn't be good for me to get caught. You must avoid them at all costs.
If someone found out that I released you from your room, I'd never find work in a hospital again. So nice of you to worry about me like that. Do not be unpleasant, Mr. Pierce. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them, and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. What does this mean? Am I in an asylum? What did he write about the painting? Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? Sarah. What did they inject him with? Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. Dr. Corden, I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you. But we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Damn it! I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. I told you not to let her come down. I know. Do it again. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm gonna see if there are sleeping pills left. They run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will ya? And above all, leave the wheels where they are. Locked. The green gas leaves from here, and it runs through the whole building. Perfect. Have I activated anything? This valve controls the pressure. A duct. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. The control wheel is missing.
This padlock is too complicated for me. Scopolamine F. There's no such thing. They've created der derivatives of all common medicines. I could use this control wheel to turn the valve I saw. Now for the next step. exactly what I need.
It's no use. The padlock won't give. It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Good God, what could this machine be used for? This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? Vats of rotten flesh, and a lot worse and worse. The liquid connects it to the electric current. What are its properties? What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? I can still increase the load. It's done. Now for the others. I can still increase the load. What is going on here? You. Yeah, you there. Come here. I don't know what you're doing there, but you don't seem to be friends with- What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No! Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? 
Yeah, and in exchange I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Is it the noise that disturbs you? No, it's the nightmares. We all have them here. That's what wakes us up. And afterwards, there's no way to get back to sleep. If I find something, who knows what I'll do. Don't play the wise guy because you're on the outside and I'm not. If I walk, I do not stop. If I do not stop, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me, I do not sleep. If I do not sleep, I do not see him. I do Get not me out! He does not call. Don't let me sleep. What is call up inside me? I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars and swells and has strange emotions. It's five, Six. No, 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 not, not six. Four, five. Just got a few days to go. Yeah, that's it. Four days at most. No more. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Dementia, self-inflicted wounds, anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. I can still increase the load. Hey! You there!
Where do they keep their sleeping pills? And sleeping pills. I've got what you want. Show me! There. And remember, they don't come for free. Don't you worry, you'll have your diversion. Go on now, go hide yourself. The crows! They're everywhere! Make them go away! Help! 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 What now? What? Carnage. All the levers are activated. I'll go take a look. That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. Damn it! What's going on? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there?
Doctor, is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes! And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore! The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings! You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor! The Shambler! Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. No! Sanders! What the hell? Oh God. I got I gotta This is insane. What killed him? Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Later. We need to move on. Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. Why I'll find evidence. Fine, do what you want. I'm just trying to reason with you. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? <sighs> Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand.
What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then, uh... Then what? I, uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital and called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan, and I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name. What it means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He 
knew Sarah Hawkins, and that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. He's right. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Let us go now, and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely 
What brings me here? Well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. Our paths crossed. Briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. A house of artists.
Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? A house of artists. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? She didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. to see it. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. my eyelids each time I shut my eyes. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. A strange Amerindian pendant. I could use one of those. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away an old diary.
That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. What a surprise. I'm listening. All's fair in love and war, I suppose. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. The public entrance to the gallery. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. What the hell was that? Damn. Did it hear that? Maybe I can use this dagger.
What the hell was that? Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. What the hell was that? Damn, maybe I can use this dagger. What the hell was that? Damn, maybe I can use this dagger. What the hell was that? Damn, maybe I can use this dagger. Damn it! This 
this dagger didn't work. What the hell was that? Damn. This dagger looks different. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? It, it's nothing. I, I, I think I just drank too much. That goes without saying. If you can't tell the difference between reality and fiction, then you're in real trouble. I ran, screamed, broke a pane of glass. You were in the next room and you didn't hear a thing. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. The door was blocked. I got in as soon as I could. I like to look after my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extra- He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. The creature. This dagger was the only weapon capable of pushing it back. If Hawkins was trying to get rid of this shambler, she might have made contact with Drake. This antique dealer has a good knowledge of the occult. I have nothing to lose by meeting him. You've got your spunk back. Go where you want. I'm staying here to talk business with Irene.
Where is the bookseller? Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. diary. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. What happened here? Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. What killed all these animals? What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What the... Charles Hawkins? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case.
What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old... Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions? How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions? Never. How many volumes are there in this collection? Things are not looking good. A kind of chalice. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Very well. I'll examine him. Thirty-year-old subject. 
severe hypothermia, erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums, necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin, tender at the touch, slightly sticky. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. No, Doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps? <sighs> this amuses you. Your reaction does. 
I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man, and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patience and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Holden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Full? He... Oh, Mr. Blake. There's nothing we can do. I... Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, Doctor. Not me, not anyone. Our stock is empty, yet again. Again? But there was enough for the whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't refuse to help. Of course. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? What can you tell me about him? He was highly agitated an hour ago. We were about to tie him down when he fell asleep. Ten minutes ago, he curled up into a fetal position. I thought he was waking up, but no. Show me his file. That... That's not possible. Don't tell me Dr. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why I called you. This man's ailment has been hidden from us. Come on now. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. What are his symptoms? His temperature has been going down. His skin losing its color, his body rigid. I closed his eyes myself. They were glassing over. I didn't want them to dry out, and I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. You did well. Don't worry. Let's stay professional, if you will. I don't recognize him. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Who? You know, the woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh, I see. Do you have other questions? That'll do for the time being. 
Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Very well. I'll examine him. Thirty-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin, tender at the touch, slightly sticky. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Colden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. No, Doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. 
Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps? <sighs> this amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take Is care. Is a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I... And, and where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. This place draws you in and never lets you go. This place draws you in and never lets you go. who pays. What a pest. It's temperamental, it's so unfair. if I understand correctly. Elizabeth? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Come now. Don't let that witch sap your morale. We're lacking in qualified personnel and she knows it. Her petty punishments won't last forever. I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. <sighs> Her time is much too precious for these kind of petty games. Anyway, I've learned my lesson. I'll hold my tongue next time. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor.
No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch dog. What is the boiler room key doing here? The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable, but Fuller was able to save her kidney. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, oh, a whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh no, not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, Cat on the other, and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Dr. Colden? Hay fever? What's he doing here? Doctor, please! Uh, my chest! Uh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. <laughs> Mrs. Sanders? Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling.
His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? Those basement brutes tied him up too tight, and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. <laughs> Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Dr. Colden. In theory, this is where Dr. Fuller always keeps his key. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Thank you. I'll be going. This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Please, the fewer interruptions there are, the faster I'll be finished. I don't have any business in the boiler room. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. 
Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... Dr. Colden? The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. The operating room is never accessible after an operation.
The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Everything all right, Dr. Colden? All is well, Elizabeth, thank you. I was making sure the water wasn't cut off yet again. Thank God, no. The water's running. I have no desire to call Donovan for help. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Missing files must be hidden here. The Stendhal Syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle.
I've unlocked something. Patient files. I was right. I should go another way. Just sleep a bit more. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Conclusions, session number 17. Patient, Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar demons are the ones that comes with her exceptional gifts. This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I read that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It is fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement.
Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead! No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait! No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go! Rescue the Doctor! Thank you, Drake. I pray that Colden is really here, and alive. An old diary.
What the... Fuller, too. The Scylla is here. Like in the vision. Colden came this way. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. My God, what, what is happening to me? What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. What happened? Something has changed, but what? What's going on? It never ends. That's... that's me. Oh God! I gotta, I gotta get out! I got...
Pierce, I found her. I finally know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Colden? <sighs> what's going on? Was it a hallucination? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. No, it can't be. No, you son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. Murderer! This madness must stop! Holden? they do to you? Can you speak? What is it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sarah. He gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no, no. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. He told me to get you out of here. I can tell a lie when I hear one. Well, I don't give a damn who you're talking about. We go now. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh no. This hey. way. green, the decaying one. The gas? Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it! I'd be better off finding a tool. Perfect. All right. That should do it. Let's move. Crazy island. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. Edward! Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. How dare you! No! Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? All you did 
for her safety was throwing her in this rat hole. <coughs> I hid her well enough. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. I did everything I could to protect her. But her identity, her power, is what threatens her. What? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? She's weak, physically and mentally. Do not make the mistake of thinking she's a feeble woman. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then... We get rid of its members. You are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. 
I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. She began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> It's over now. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. You've been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. 
You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. You've recovered from yesterday's condition. That must mean you can fight it. We must find something that will stop you from relapsing. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. 
the symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but... When she painted the picture, in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. The dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes... I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature, and to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? Sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again.
This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Ah, it's you again. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley. You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. <laughs> you bet I will.
You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Listen, Chief West, I realize that I'm in your jurisdiction, and that you don't like guys like me. However, I think that these accusations are exaggerated and that we would benefit from working together. If that means a confession from you and therefore less paperwork for me, then we've got a deal. I'm serious. Can't you see what's going on right under your nose? Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more, night, Mr. Night. Pierce. Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker, we meet at last. Who's there? of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. I told you to behave. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Your mind must open itself willingly, or the truth will immediately shatter it. Our paths shall cross again, Truth Seeker. Risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you, you may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler! I knew it! No! Not again! 
again. Algernon, come back! Is Algernon and the Shambler? No way back. It's either you or me. No! What are you... No! Open! Open! Open up! Open this door! It's here. <laughs> <laughs> Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. The first glyph must have appeared some- Where on the floor? How many are there?
Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. against me the ritual is working don't worry it's just until I ward it off oh no the wanderer is back the cliff is ready sir. Run! the second symbol has been revealed you know what you have to do Sarah Must have appeared. Let's press on. Must have appeared. Let's press on. The symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. Second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. I have the impression the Shambler is trying to anticipate our actions. The symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him.
Almost there, Sarah. Only one glyph left to find. Sarah, only one glyph left to find. Sarah Hawkins. Why did she do it? Damn, Damn it. it. Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? Let me out of here. I'm warning you, Pierce. I want a short and clear-cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West. We got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Are you stupid? Don't you understand? Those goddamn idiots. Truth seeker. 
I find you again. As promised, I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. As your mind expands and finally understands the true nature of the world, your perceptions change. Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it as they truly are? Survivors. It's all your fault. You could have stopped this whole thing. Dear army buddies, the villagers, me. We're all in danger, as long as you're alive. Dom, what happened? Come, you'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. They killed Chief West. What? And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? Huh. We don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. Should I trust these two? They're scared as shit. What's more frightening than me? Good question. The captain? It's just a misunderstanding. Anyone can make a mistake. 
Shut up. Interesting. Let's go, Dom. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. He must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. Release our friends, you bunch of pickaroons. Yeah, they've done nothing wrong. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's hooey. How do you know they killed him? Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the low round here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? We came from here. down the stairs. So this is where West was killed. What's that? What the fuck is that? Where did it come from? He wasn't alone. Who were those guys? There's only one man who smokes these gaspers. It's Fitzroy. You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. What's going on outside?
outside. This is my last warning. What's going on outside? This is my last warning. Next one who comes close gets one in the head. What the hell? Dom, get out of here. Go! I'll cover you. Die! You filthy rat! Damn it! Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. I won't go without a fight. You think you're here of your own accord? Ah! Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head! Our Supreme Oracle has spoken. You will follow your destiny. What? It is awakened. <laughs> the voice. I can't hear the voice anymore. <laughs>
are trapped. Keep going. Huh. My God. This way. Stand up. Walk. Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? Uh, where am I? Miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. To our fallen crew members, they have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles Hawkins. I'm willing to bet that they killed all the survivors of the Miraculous Catch. comes back to the Scylla. It was where it all began. Soon be time, Edward Pierce. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. What has happened to you? Oh, Pierce. You insist on ignoring the truth when it's right there in front of you. Sarah Hawkins saw you as you really are. This painting is the proof. This is madness. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Colden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Fuller. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. You're mistaken. I believe no more in destiny than I do in vampires, gods, and their female prophets. Well, well done. That will really impress her. Again, this denial. It doesn't matter anymore. The future is now but an image that Sarah Hawkins has painted for you. Why don't you go and join her, you who believe in nothing? And then, you'll see. You'll see that there are truths so powerful, so overwhelming, that even a mind as narrow as yours cannot withstand them. And what is your truth, Colton? What is your role in this story? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our Oracle.
Sarah, tell me where you took her. We'll find her at Alabaster Point. I'm going to get her. Don't try to stop me. Of course. Shut up. Get out of my way. Stop fighting the dead. No one. Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me? Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, one man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are. A truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes! Yes! I feel the truth. Because it was written. Pierce! Help me!
can't let you do this. Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me? Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? 
Listen to me. I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. One man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Pierce, help me! We doubled the dosage, as you asked us to, Doctor. Good. Thank you. Here you are. She was waiting. You were waiting. Yes, all this, but I was if. What did you look? <laughs> I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. 
Will you trust my words? Yes. One man. Because I said the truth. Yeah. I feel... Because it... Pierce, help me!
Here you are at last. She was you were what? Yes, all this, but I was a. What did you? <laughs> Listen to me. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must. I can't make one man because I saw a truth. Yes. yes. I feel that. Because it was. Pierce, help me! Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. This is primitive. Ah, oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, 
that stays in a place like this. What happened here? What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? It smells as bad as it looks. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is, has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. The place has been abandoned since the...
You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be- I'll go with you. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go.